G'day folks, I'm coming out of my mate Jake Davies Studios here at Jake Davies. Um, and I'm just gonna give you the first pretty much lesson of how to play harmonica. If you've never played a harmonica before, um, and you have it, it needs to be a C harmonica. And uh, I play a Hona, you don't have to play a Hona. Lee Oscar's great. Whatever you got is gonna work for today's lesson. Uh, so I just wanna just quickly touch base on the basics of, first of all, how to hold the instrument. It's gonna be like that. Got it? Make sure you got plenty of room to get your mouth around there. Awesome. Uh, your thumb will come around here and give you that pretty much cup cup feel so you can get that, that thing. So there's, there's your first basic hold. Your thumb comes around like a stopper and your other thumb rests on the palm of your right hand and that will give you the basic standard feel for a harmonica. Now, everyone's gonna vary. This is not rock solid. You've gotta make it work for yourself. So for me, I always pick it up like that. Right now, um, I'm going to work just like this, okay? To give you an exact idea of what I'm going to do. The first time you pick up a harmonica, we've all done this, we go, we go backwards, we get those sounds, okay? The other thing you do, if you give it to your two-year-old, two they're going to go. Okay, we know that one, okay. So uh, the, the basic working of a harmonica is that you're going to blow into it, get a chord, you're going to suck into it, get another chord, okay. We're going to work out how we're going to get a single note as well as another very important part. But right now, we're going to, we're going to work on just playing um, some simple chords to get ourselves and our mouth working over the instrument. Most of the work on a harmonica is done within the very five, six, seven notes. We don't get much beyond that to make the instrument sound good or get a lot of the notes, particularly in the blues. Okay, so the difference between a straight harmonica and a blues harmonica is this. If I do what the two-year-old does, which is blow, suck, blow, suck, blow, suck, blow, suck, blow, which is pretty much the sound we're all gonna make out of it the first time. If I do that, That's called straight harmonica. That's playing in the key of the harmonica, which is a C. If I do that in reverse, that's called cross harp. Okay, so I'm going to be, mainly the lesson today is gonna to be learning on the blues and cross harp. How do we get that blues sound? Well, we work backwards. So if I said to you that the straight harmonica is That starts by blowing into the instrument. The blues starts in reverse, okay? So I'm going to do exactly what we did before with the blow, suck, blow, suck, blow. I'm gonna work backwards now, and I'm gonna go suck, blow, suck, blow, suck. Like, listen. So I'm only working on these four notes here to do that. So I'm gonna suck those four notes, I'm gonna blow, I'm gonna do it, in a rhythmic sound. Here we go. I'm going to after four. One, two, three, four. I'm sucking to get that last note. Ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, now if I was to speed that up a little bit and just keep rolling. Now remember, as I'm going, I'm expelling that air enough that a little bit of air comes over the top of the instrument. Listen. So it's a gentle way of doing it, but it creates rhythm on the outward breath, right? Okay, so that is that train sound. We've all heard that on blues harmonicas. So when we pick up a blues harp and you want to play the blues, you generally want to think, okay, I'm not going to go do that normal sound. Oh, the first thing I'm going to do is draw that note. Now, if I am playing a key of C harmonica like this, if I was to play the blues, it wouldn't play in the key of C. A guitar player, I know this sounds confusing right now, but we'll get more to this later on. A guitar player would play in the key of G. 
because if I blow this harmonica, it's going to play a C chord. If I suck that same set of notes, it's going to play a G chord, which means that the guitar player or the accompanist would play in the key of G. Okay, so this harmonica is going to play in two keys. If I play O Susanna, it's going to play in the key of C. If I play the blues by starting by sucking on the notes, it's going to play in the key of G. So when you've got a C harmonica, if you want to play the blues in G, you need a C harmonica. So now we're going to move to the blues end of it, okay? So you need to be very um, thoughtful on how you're going to get this um, a single note. A single note is very important with the blues. So now we've learned... How do we do that? How do you get those single notes? Okay, everybody has different shapes and ways in their mouth they're gonna make this happen. My first experience of trying to get a single note took me months. I just couldn't make it happen. I, I was always picking up two notes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to suck. I'm gonna suck four notes. I'm gonna stop on the fourth. Now you need to practice from the very bottom note because that's the easiest one to pull up one single note, all right? I'm going to do it like this. Can you hear that one note? Now, if I pull in two notes, you can hear the two notes. If you're hearing the two notes, you've not quite got it. So don't, whatever you do, don't give up. This can take some time. If you get tired or if it's not working for you straight away, put the instrument down, go and do something else, come back, pick it up. This is the best thing about these instruments is that you can carry them with you. You know, so you might be just, you know, have some idle time, Try and keep trying, it will work, okay? So I'm going to suck up to the fourth hole, I'm going to hold that fourth note. Okay, here we go. Now if you notice, my whole mouth is over the harmonica, I'm not doing this. That'll never work in the long run. You might get a note by doing that little, you know, pursing your lips, put the whole thing, in your mouth, okay? <laughs> in your mouth, right? Like that. So it's got to go. Now, a way to find your way of getting that single note is to move slowly up the harmonica. You could do it fast first. Actually, you're getting one single note at a time in a hurry there. When you slow it down, it's harder. Let's blow, let's turn the other way. Now I'm gonna draw the notes. Fourth note. How does that happen? That's the great bit of blues. That's the, that's the blue note, that's the one you wanna hear, yeah? How does that happen? Great. Okay. The story of this for me, right, what happened was that I um, I was dying to learn how, how, to, how can I bend this note? And a fellow up in Queensland said to me, he was a good harmonica player, and I must have been a pest to him. I said, hey, mate, hey, can you teach me how to do that? How do you do it? He goes, look, whatever you do, he says, move, move your tongue back in the back roof of your mouth. He said, and suck real hard and you'll get it. Well, three months later, I nearly sucked my eyeballs out of the back of my head trying to make this happen. And one day it did, one day the, the note bent. So what I'm gonna ask you to do, we've all done things in the mirror trying to pull faces when we're little. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get my tongue behind my teeth and I'm gonna make that sound. And I'm gonna suck, it just before you get to the snore button, right? Just before you, you get to the snore. If you imagine that as you're drawing the note, your tongue's moving over the roof of your mouth and changing the sound chamber, a little bit like a trombone type thing. That's the sound. Now it's hard to get all that together and suck and make sure you got the note all together. That's okay. I'm going to give you that example, a little bit exaggerated. If it's too exaggerated, sometimes the note will bend too far. But I'll just give you, I'll give you an example. I'll, I'll show you, here we go. Okay, so my tongue's moving to the back of the roof of my mouth. 
and I'm starting to bend that note. Now the fourth note is a nice one to bend, okay? That's always that, like your standard. That sound, okay? So the easiest one to bend is the bottom note, right? The number one hole down there. So when you get that single note and you want it to bend, right? Keep practicing, get to the nearly when you're snoring. If you're snoring, you've gone too far, right? It's just that little bit before. Now, it's gonna be different for everyone. Everyone's gonna have their own way of making this happen. So, and don't feel like, you know, it's not happening right now while Matty's showing you. You know, some of you are gonna get it straight away. Some of it's not, it's not gonna happen for a week. It took me three months not knowing what I was doing. I thought, you know, it took me three months of, you know, trying to um, make it happen, but it, it happened eventually. And once you can bend a note, then the whole instrument opens up and you can start playing. And all I wanted to play was Amazing Grace. Uh, but I need to be able to, to bend the notes to make that happen. Of course, we'll go through that in a little while. Now, this whole lesson here, when we're finished and you've, you've watched it and you've had a go, uh, there's going to be comments down there and I'm going to be reading those comments. So, you know, put your questions up so I know what you need to know, what you didn't quite get so we can revisit this. And we'll probably do it on a live Instagram thing. Um, so just make sure whatever you're thinking or you've got some, some worry or it's not quite making sense, put that down there, I'll address it and we'll make a little list that we can get back to and, and have another go. Um, so bending the note, let's get back to that. Um, the first note. The second note's a bit harder to bend. Third note. Okay, now I'm gonna slide up to the fourth note. Here's a tricky one, right? Let's do it very slowly. Now, here's an old rule. If you learn to bend a note and you get so happy about it and you bend it and you keep bending it and keep bending it, it's a bit like the old uh, wife's tale of putting your face into the wind and pulling a face. That note will stay down there and your harmonic is ruined. I ruined lots of harmonicas like this. So once you learn to bend it, Try to learn control so you're not bending it right off the Richter skull. They do eventually wear out, okay? So um, here we go. Let's move up to the fourth note again. Okay, now I'm going to speed it up. Be listening. Ready? Faster. Hear that? It starts to get blue. But I'm sliding up. I'm playing three definite notes before I get to that fourth. Okay, so that's how to bend a note. It's gonna take you some time. Uh, and in this first lesson, I really just wanted to give an example to make sure you know how to hold it, to get that sort of going on, how to get that single note. Practice, practice till you get every single note. But don't just make every note a drawn note. Practice blowing them too, like. make things up, get creative. Um, the other one we might just quickly visit, which is lots of fun. There's a really great part of the harmonica. Let's, let's go up to these one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, I'm gonna suck up to the fourth and fifth pole. Show the fourth. Okay, it sounds like a police car, right? So the fifth and the fourth, I'm gonna start on the fifth and move to the fourth. You know what I mean? But if I, if I go. Now this is where the control comes in. I've got that. Here, yeah, I've got it like that as well, look. Some people shake their head like an old dog, or some people. Practice that. The faster you get on that, you can start bending it as, as you're doing that and it gives you that. Cool. So that's your first lesson. Heaps of questions I'm sure you'll have. Um, 
and I'm happy to answer them all, as I said. Um, heaps of fun. Enjoy yourself. If you're in lockdown, um, these are great fun. You know, you can do lots, lots of good things with the harmonica. And we might even visit some of the old school harmonica things as well. Like, if you turn around like this. Old bushy stuff, which we can talk about in a later one. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys. And um, appreciate your time. See you next time.